All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm finally going to be selling off the scrap copper that I've been accumulating over the past couple of months. Got a bunch of different stuff here. Stuff from some Romex wire. Uh, some random little number. I got some big stuff, I got some little stuff. All in the bare bright category, thankfully. So this should, I'm not sure how much this all weighs, but it's gonna be some good weight. So let's get everything loaded up and I'll tell you where I got all this. All right, starting off here, I got the two buckets of, well, first I got the Romex wire that I stripped out for my house build, then a couple of random pieces of pipe thrown in there. Then I also just had a couple of random pieces of number two, some pipe and some dirty copper wiring that I had just laying around. And then next up where I had the majority of the weight from this whole load was the wire that I had from the data center wire that I stripped up a couple videos back. I think there was around 300 pounds total of it. Here, just doing a clip from the video just to show anybody that didn't watch the video. I had two buckets here. And in this final container, other than these couple random pieces that I threw in there on the top, which I sort out, just another couple random ones and twosie pieces. This is from some more of the data center wire, and I ran it through my Stripmeister, and the setting was too high, and I ended up splicing a bunch of it so much that I ended up actually cutting the copper itself. Made it real annoying trying to get it all out. And next up, I got some of the bigger wire. Well, it's the biggest wire in my whole run. That was from the data center wire, and then I also went through a couple videos back where I got that 500 pounds of cable from the business that had shut down on the online auction, and I stripped that out, and I had one more big piece of it. Some good weight. And then I got another bucket of some number two unstripped wire that was also from the data center that I just didn't want to strip anymore. I got totally burnt out. And then these pieces were pretty cool. They were just some number two copper that I got whenever I stripped out the, or I didn't strip out, whenever I scrapped out the plumbing unit. Some big pieces of solid copper. Pretty awesome. There were some from the top there, and then I also had these pieces on the bottom. Two large pieces of that, and they ended up being some decent weight. Pretty cool pieces. I almost didn't want to scrap them, but I was like, what am I going to actually keep those for and use them? So decided to sell them. <laughs> and at the house, I actually had some of these longer pieces from the data center wire that I stripped out. I only stripped out one whenever I did this video a couple videos back. So I had to strip out a couple more. And here's me separating the casing from the clean cable. Ended up being some big pieces. All right, with those last couple of pieces stripped out. It's time to roll. And I just had to run through and pick up the plumbing unit. Here's what it looked like before I took it all apart. And I wanted to go through, grab all these pieces. I originally thought this was all stainless, but I, whenever I got it to the yard and they scrapped it, it turned out it was aluminum. And if you don't know if you got stainless or aluminum, just put a grinder to it. If it sparks, it's stainless. If it doesn't spark, that means it's generally aluminum. And all those smaller pieces weren't too hard to load, but my gosh, this next big piece, it wasn't really that easy to take apart, so I just left it all together. About dang near threw my back out, throwing it in there. It was definitely a bear, but I was glad to have the weight. It was pretty awesome. All right, we're loaded up. I'm sweating like a pig. Let's get to the scrap yard and see what we can get for this load. It is really hot out. I'm sweating. Hope this pays good. All right, let's see what it is. All right, just pulling up to the yard. I'm not going to record while I'm inside. But I'm going to get everything unloaded, and I'll show you guys what I come up with. All right, now we're back from the scrap yard, and let's do a breakdown of everything that I got. Starting off, I had some aluminum, and that was actually from the industrial plumbing unit. I thought that that was stainless. It ended up being aluminum, which worked in my favor because aluminum scrapping out more than stainless. I got 230 pounds of it at $0.42, cents, making $96.60. Next up... Number two copper wire, which was the stuff that I got from the data center that I didn't want to strip, ended up being 83 cents at 32 pounds, so 26.56 out of that. Next up, the main thing out of the scrap load was the number one copper, 195 pounds of that at $3.53, which was a pretty decent price, $688.35. And for the number two copper, I ended up getting 13 pounds of that, at $3.23, making $41.99. And that number two was from all of the um, material that was from the innards of the plumbing unit. Making the grand total of everything today, 
$853.50. Pretty good run. I ended up paying for the plumbing unit as well as the data center wire, so this isn't just total profit, but I think it's still over a $500 profit from where I would bought everything. And also you throw in the ad revenue from the videos that I make. So I made a little bit of money. Anyways, prices are still good. Cryptocurrencies are bad, stock market's going down, but scrap metals of every sort, whether it be non-ferrous or ferrous, are doing really well. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. God bless, and as always, have a good one.